to Esau, the Heavenly Father, and establish him to be ruler over all. Just like right now, Esau is the ruler over all, man. The Heavenly Father puts you in that seat, but Esau is the one that's pride has risen to the point of being, of willing to, to fight against our power, man. So he's going to be broken without hand. You see, as the scriptures say, Proverbs 24 and 1, you see the, the, the heart of the king is as the, the, the rivers of water and the Heavenly Father turns it whithersoever he will, man. It's like he was the one that hardened Pharaoh's heart. If anybody in the right mind would have let the people go, man. But what, what did the scriptures say? That, that, that Pharaoh's heart was hardened, man. So the Heavenly Father could show his power in pursuing the Romans, the ninth chapter. You see? So then all the world knew the power of the Heavenly Father after he destroyed Pharaoh. Now the same thing today, man. He's risen up Esau in all of his power. And the whole world is going to never forget the power of the Heavenly Father when he destroys this devil, man. Go ahead, brother. Thou art this head of gold. You see, so he was the head of gold, just like we said, man. He's going to go ahead and, you know, continue breaking it down, as we said. But, you know, for time's sake, we're going to go ahead and jump down to verse uh, 43. Go ahead and go to verse 42. 42. And as the toe of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Yep, because really you see this place is divided, man. You see? Go ahead, brother. And whereas uh, thou sawest iron mixed with a myrrh, miry, miry, clay. miry clay, clay slaki, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. You see, so America, NATO, and the EU, even though you're risen up underneath that same banner, man, you see, really, man, all all you people are divided, man. And really, according to the prophecy, man, uh, the NATO and the EU are going to turn on America, you see? And really, he's just going to use you all you Edomites to destroy yourselves, man. Just like he used the, the Romans to destroy the Grecians, man, who was an Edomite family out of that same Edomite uh, 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 tribe, you see? To destroy themselves. Now the Heavenly Father gave you the wisdom to create the ICBM nuclear missile and you're going to use it to destroy yourself, man. This is all prophecy, man. The poetic justice of the Heavenly Father. He gave you the blessing of the weapon and by the weapon you are going to destroy yourself. What does it say? He that liveth by the gun shall... Uh, uh, sorry. He that liveth by the sword shall die by the sword, man. So that's what you got coming, man. Go ahead, Doc. Verse 44. And in the days of these ki uh, kings shall, shall the Most High of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed you see now he's setting up this kingdom which shall never be destroyed what was said unto the israelites in the time of the acts hey these people preach another king uh contrary to caesar man that's what we're telling you man there's another king coming man and he's going to establish our rule what to say gad a troop shall overcome him but you shall overcome at the last man we are going to overcome man begin beginning with with, with 144,000, man out of each tribe you see, not just you, not just the, the Native American Indian, but all of us, man. The so-called Negro, Latino, and the Native American Indian, and you Israelites who've been scattered throughout all the other nations, man. The elect, whatsoever they are, they're going to hear this message, repent, and receive salvation, man. You see? The Heavenly Father has reserved that, that, that cluster, man. That, out of that seed line of the nation of Israel, who will re repent and return, man. And that's what we're seeing happening throughout the face of the earth today. You see, that's why his kingdom is falling and diminishing because he set up that everlasting kingdom just like we got out of uh, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, man, just now. You see, a king that will rule forever, man. You see, in his governing body that will rule forever. How are they going to rule forever? Because the wage of the sin is death and sin is the transgression of the law. If that law is written within our heart and within our mind, then we will never go off and we will be that immortal priesthood once again. Psalms 82. What does it say? You are gods, but ye shall die like men. We're going to return to that godly state through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Huh. Beginning with repentance. And at the coming of our king, we're going to be raised incorruptible, and we're going to have that last victory, the last laugh over you Edomites, man. Though you, your troops overcame us, we are going to overcome you by a small number. Go ahead, brother. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. You see, the kingdom shall not be left to other people, man. Why? Because we're going to be ruling in perfection, man. Because of unrighteous dealings and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated to one people to another, man. But if we're ruling in all righteousness, 
the kingdom will not be translated out of our hands ever again. Why will it be never again? Because that law is written within your heart and within your mind. That immortal priesthood, man. Go ahead, brother. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And all these kingdoms, man. All you kingdoms, your time of ruling is going to be over. That's right. You're going to have Israel and then you're going to have you heathen nations, man. And then there's going to be a particular point in which Esau, he who was created to be the wielder of the sword, is going to be destroyed forever because the sword is going to be destroyed right along with he who was created to be the wicked. If your child is perfect, you have no need for a belt. Go ahead, Doc. What's going on? I mean, maybe holding your pants up, but you know what I mean. Go ahead, Doc. <laughs> and it shall stand forever. Yep, and it shall stand forever, man. Go ahead, brother. Grab uh, Daniel 7 and uh, 18. This is 7 and 18. But the saints and the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, uh, even forever and ever. You see, the saints of the Most High are going to possess the kingdom forever, man, without end. Go ahead and back up to the 11th verse. Verse 11 says, I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain. You see, the beast was slain, man. That last rulership, man. You see, that last uh, uh, ion over the planet Earth. That last, what did, what did we read earlier? Out of uh, uh, Ecclesiast uh, Ecclesiasticus 49 and 5. Therefore he gave their power unto others and their glory unto a strange nation. The last strange nation to have dominion over the planet Earth, man. Will be destroyed. That beast system, man. America, NATO, and the EU. And America is going to be destroyed, according to the prophecies, by 200 million thermonuclear missiles in which you will not be able to, to tell where the division of this land was, man. Where a state began or where a state ended, man. The only land to be consumed and destroyed forever, man. You see? Well, other, th other than Sodom and Gomorrah, which Sodom and Gomorrah were what? Examples of any kingdom that shall live uh, afterward ungodly, man. This place has a great... A uh, bill to 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 atone for, man. Go ahead, Doc. I be, uh, I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed, and given to the burning flame. Yep, till the beast was slain, his body destroyed and given to the burning flame, man. What does it say? Death was cast into hell, man. Esau, being the bringer of that death, being destroyed, man. You see, one thing that we got to understand, man, is this land being America, though it was a beautiful land. And there still are some parts of it that may be beautiful, man. The Heavenly Father has prepared this place for the sword, man. Our inheritance will be established here on the earth come soon. Right now, we have no inheritance here anymore, man. Stop fighting for the land because the land has been destroyed. Start fighting for your power, man. Because our power will never be destroyed because that's the creator of all energy, man. You see what we've been given compared to these other nations, man? Esau's been given the gun. We've been given the creator of all energy in our corner, man. So we are going to overcome by the creator of all energy. Not by the gun. Not by no philosophy of strangeness. Not by anything given to you by Esau, Edom. But by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's how we will overcome at the last. Go ahead, brother. Uh, you will continue going? Come. Verse 12. As concerning the rest of the beasts... They had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. You see? So the rest of you nations, you ain't going to be destroyed forever as America will be, as Esau will be. There will be a particular time in which you will be in order and, and in subject to the nation of Israel, man. That's why when you go to the prophecies of Zechariah, the 13th chapter after that last world war, the war to end all wars, all you nations are going to come unto us bending the knee, man. Taking part in the Feast of Tabernacles, you see? Taking part in our holy days rather than the holidays of the heathen, man. There will be no Christmas. There will be no Halloween. You see? And that, that prophecy there alone also cuts Christianity, man. What do they tell you? That after the after this great destruction, everybody who's not a devout Christian is going to get thrown in the lake of fire forever. Well, then who are these nations that are being beaten to subjection, man? You see, it just makes no sense. Esau has taken our book and used it to manipulate the masses and blind our people, man. They've used this book for a filthy gain. 
but now the elect are get are are, 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 are grabbing it. And as the prophecy said, man, only Yahweh Shai was able to loosen these seals. Now, after Yahweh Shai has atoned for us, we're able to receive these things that are written, man. And the Heavenly Father has stirred up the foundation laid by Yahweh Shai, you see, coming all the way into today's time, GMS Great Millstone, man. You see, in which 100% of this doctrine is out there, man. 100% of truth is within this doctrine, man. The Heavenly Father has used GMS Great Millstone to push that out, and now the elect are rising up wherever they may be, man. Maybe under a different title, but as long as they have 100% truth, man, then that's all that matters, man. You elect with us, so ever you are, you're going to receive it, and we are going to come back, and we are going to have that overcoming at the last. Go ahead, huh? Um, verse uh, 13. I saw in the mi a night vision... And behold, one like the Son of Man. You see, one like the Son of Man, the Messiah. Go ahead. Came with the clouds of heaven. With the clouds of heaven, the armies of heaven, the thousands of heaven. You see, uh, 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 Ezra described it as uh, as a mountain that he saw flying that he was upon. You see, he also describes him as the clouds of heaven, as we just read. You see, the chariots of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, is going to come up, 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 upon the the greatest, biggest one, man. In which every eye shall see, as the scriptures say, man. Go ahead. And came to the Ancient of Days. And came to the Ancient of Days, the Heavenly Father, man, the creator of all energy. Showing you yet again another lie. What do they tell you? Oh, they're all the same being. That makes no sense at all. Who was Yahweh Shai praying to, man? What did the scriptures say? That Yahweh Shai presented himself before the Heavenly Father to receive what? Go ahead. And they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory. Dominion and glory, man. A rulership, you see. The same thing written of in Psalms chapter 2. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick. Go ahead and just hold that real quick for a second, brother. This is Psalms chapter 2 and verse 9. Verse 8. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them in pieces with a rod of iron and shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. So you see, the Heavenly Father gave the planet Earth, the, the, the nations, all in the hands of Yahweh Shai. You see, just as we're reading, man. And we'll go ahead and grab another precept to close on. And you're going to see how he's given that same blessing that he's received from the Heavenly Father unto his joint heirs, the elect, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 14, And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people nations and languages should serve him that's right and in turn serve Yahweh man go ahead his dominion is an everlasting dominion an everlasting dominion without end go ahead well uh, which shall not pass away which shall not pass away why because it's going to be ruled in perfection go ahead and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed you see a kingdom which shall never be destroyed man uh go ahead grab revelation 2 and uh 25 you see, this everlasting kingdom, man. The, he the, the heavenly father, uh, it was prophesied to be given into the hands of Yahweh Shai. And in turn, his joint heirs, his elect, man, the 140 and 4K. You see that first dominion, man. Being the one third and, and you elect with us so ever you be, man. That innumerable multitude spoken of within Revelation, the seventh chapter. Go ahead, huh? This is Revelations 2 and 25. But that which you see, yeah, Revelation... Uh, uh, and John the Revelator, man, he wasn't even coming out with no like new breakdowns and revelations like the world makes it seem like, man. He was just seeing the vision of all these prophecies coming to pass. We just read one of the prophecies, and here we're reading the vision of it coming to pass, man. Go ahead, Ak. It says uh, uh, 2 and 25, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. You see, hold fast to what you've been given, man. Hold fast to, to, to this knowledge and, 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 and continue and to strive and invest in the spirit until the coming of Yahweh Shai, man. You see, don't be the dog that returned to his vomit, man. Can't treat this truth like a side piece, man. This this is this is your, your, your uh, uh, just like the book of Baruch says, so be in return, seek it ten times more, man. You see, well, we don't got to design no blueprints on how to take the system of Esau down like you would in one of these worldly revolutionary groups. All we got to do is wait for the coming of our king, man. This separates us from them. We have faith. They do not. Go ahead. Verse 26. And he, ha he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end 
To him will I give power over the nations. To him will he give power over the nations. You see, this is the same blessing that he received from his father that he's going to he's going to make mention of that. Even as I received my father is what he's going to say. Go ahead. And he shall roll them with a rod and I, uh, with, of iron. With a rod of iron. You see, not with gumdrops and lollipops, but with a rod of iron to establish what? Within the within these people who've been who've been institutionalized as well, man. He's in, Esau has institutionalized this whole earth. You see, targeting you Israelites, which 230 you have been too far gone. You see, but the whole earth has, has fallen underneath his facade, man. Go ahead, brother. So we got to take that rod of iron, and guess what, man? We're going to be beating you nations into subjection, man. As, as we read earlier, the threshing floor. You see? Go ahead. As the vessel of a potter shall, shall they be broken to shivers. You see? As the vessels of a potter that shall they be broken into shivers. What does it say? Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but thou shalt overcome at the last, man. We're going to overcome at the last, and we're going to establish our rule on the planet earth, man. The rule of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, governed for all of eternity by the elect, man. Sure. That immortal body. Go ahead, Ak. Even as I received of my father, Yahweh. Yep, even as he received of his father, man. That same blessing that he received of his father, he, he, he's going to overturn unto the elect. 12,000 of them out of the tribe of Gad, who was prophesied, will overcome at the last, man. 12,000 out of every tribe, man. Begin with our big brother Judah who will, who will raise up and, and raise up that banner, man, and the remaining elect getting up and partaking, man. You see, striving for this kingdom to come because we know and understand that this kingdom is over via the prophecies, man. So you see how these prophecies, these prophecies stand firm and really they're a faith increaser, man. These prophecies just break it down perfectly, man. And the whole gospel just comes together and, and, and makes so much sense, man. You see? When Christianity will bring forth, they'll bring forth certain things, and it'll just sow confusion. You see, but the prophecy is like the bone structure of the scriptures, man. You see, like I said, man, you go into the prophecies, and everything just ties together and makes sense, man. So, Lord willing, this is edifying unto you, elect with us, so ever you be, man. Do you have anything else you want to bring out, brother? No, that's not it. Come on, come on. With that, I'm gonna say all praise, that's honor, not. and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS, Great Millstone, and peace, love, blessing, salutations unto you, elect, whithersoever you be, man. We will overcome at the last, man. Shalom. Shalom.